When you're sitting in the majority and you win, I don't know that it went wrong. Did we want something much bigger? Yeah, we did. But if I look at the last two cycles, I've only been leader through two cycles. When I came in, we had less than 200. If you're a Democrat and President Biden won your seat by 16 points, you're in a competitive race next year. You are no longer safe. It could be one of the biggest election losses for Democrats. I don't know. When she was speaker last time, losing 63, set a record. But it could be more competitive this time as well. There's about 55 to 70 seats that we can play in and make them competitive. Doesn't mean we can win them all, but we need to compete in every single race. In the year of 2010, when Democrats lost 63 seats, 17 Democrats announced retirement. They've already surpassed that. We want to earn enough that we have a governing majority. That means getting in the realm of 20 and higher. If we are fortunate enough to win 35 Republican seats, that would be the largest Republican majority in more than 100 years. I'll make this one prediction. We're going to win the majority, and it's not going to be a five-seat majority. Is there any chance Republicans are a little overconfident this year? No, we're not overconfident. Can you give a prediction for how many seats you think Republicans are going to pick up on Tuesday? At least enough to win the majority. I think anywhere over 20 is a red wave. You're out late. But when you wake up tomorrow, we will be in the majority and Nancy Pelosi will be in the minority. Yeah!